Hi everyone. Today we will be reading a book called Lines. Introduction. Lions are known for being brave and powerful, armed with huge dagger teeth and slashing claws. Lions are built to hunt. What makes lions extra special is the way they live. They are not solitary prowlers like tigers and other wild cats. Lions live in family groups called prides. Lions rear their cubs together, feed together, and hunt together. When a group of lions hunts at a team, it can catch almost anything. We are going to look at how these lion families spend their lives. This book will tell you how they get on with each other, deal with neighbors, hunt their prey, and bring up their babies. We will see exactly what it is that makes these big cats so special, and just why they are admired and feared. The King of Beasts, the majestic lion, certainly deserves its. Title of King of the Beasts. The other big cats dare not cross it, for a lion will kill a lone leopard if it gets the chance. The only real threat to the lion's authority is the burly spotted hyena, which hunts in big packs and has massive bone-cracking jaws. Hyenas often steal lion kills, but then lions also steal hyena kills. Lazy lions, pound for pound, meat contains much more energy than plants. While their grass-eating victims have to spend most of their lives eating, lions need to hunt for just three or four hours a day. This means they can spend most of their time lazing around, and that's exactly what they do. Lion pride. Some lions live alone, like other cats. But these lone lions are the unlucky ones. Lions prefer to live in a group or pride. A lion pride is a family of up to twelve related lionesses, and their young, plus up to six adult males. The females. Do nearly all of the hunting and work together to look after their cubs. Lionesses may stay in the same pride for life, but the males are driven out by stronger rival males after two or four years. These t- takeovers can be violent, and the job of the males is to defend the pride against them. Lions territories. Each pride has its own hunting area or territory. The pride is usually scattered all over it in small groups. If food is scarce, the lions have to roam over a vast area to get enough to eat. Smaller, richer territories are less tiring and easier to defend. The pride's territory is never any bigger than it needs to be. Some lions, usually older males, live alone. Bands of brothers. Young female lions usually stay with their mothers in the pride, but the young males always leave home. Sometimes they wander off alone, but usually brothers and half brothers leave in small groups. Gangs survive better than loners, so unrelated lone males often form gangs of their own. Rival rivals and allies, like all animals that live together, lions pass messages to each other. They use sound, touch, scent, and facial exp- expressions to do this. The most ex- impressive sound made by a lion is its roar, but it can also grunts, 
growl, snarl, hiss, meow, and even purr like a pet cat. By changing the tone and loudness of all these sounds, a lion can signal different different feelings, from happiness to a deadly threat. Lions back up these sounds by nestling, rubbing, and licking. They rub their heads in greeting and often lie close together to keep each other warm and for protection. Lions have surprisingly expressive faces. They can move their lips and face muscles far more than most animals. They, they have at least seventeen different facial expressions. Expressions for a line that is really, really useful because it can check its neighbor's mood for doing anything that might annoy it. Annoying a line is a serious mistake, even for another line. Scent signals. Lions use scent signals like tomcats, marking their territory with strong smelling urine and sniffing any scent marks left by other lions. Lions that are just passing through a territory find this handy because they can keep away from the residents. The lions roar. The full, the full-throated roar of a lion is a terrifying sound and can be heard for miles around. Lions often roar to show other lions who's who. A male lion defending his territory, for example, roars to warn off another lion from outside the the territory. He may also roar at a rival during an argument, hoping to scare off the other lion without needing to fight. Hunting lions. When a lion hunts alone, it may pounce on on anything that moves, even rats and birds. Lions are more likely to catch prey if they hunt in a group. When lions hunt together, they usually target large game animals such as wildebeest, buffalo, and zebra. They have a problem though: a lion can sprint at thirty-six miles per hour, but an antelope or zebra can streak away at up to fifty miles per hour. The only way a lion can catch its fast-moving prey is is by creeping close enough. Unseen to spring and ambush. When a pride of lionesses hunts together, it fans out and circles around the prey to cut off its escape. Lions usually hunt at night, but if there is enough long grass to hide in, they they will hunt in daylight. When the lions have crept close enough to their quarry, or they strike. Charging, charging at full tilt, they try to knock their victim to the ground, muscling in on a kill. One lion sinks its claws into the animal's back and drags it to the ground. It sinks its huge teeth into the victim's throat to cut off the air supply. The victim soon suffocates, and the lions gather to share the kill. The lionesses do most of the hunting. When it comes to feeding, though, male often pushes the smaller lionesses aside to grab most of the kill. Dead meat. Lions are expert hunters, but they are scavengers too. They often they often steal prey killed by hyenas, cheetahs, and leopards. One survey in the Ngorongoro crater, Tanzania, found that eight out of ten lion kills were actually killed by hyenas. Time to mate. Lions can breed all year round. The lionesses are only interested in mating for two or four days every month or so. Though, 
Sometimes the lionesses go for months without coming into breeding condition, which is called estrus. Then all the lionesses in the pride are ready to mate at the same time. The males within the pride have to be ready to mate whenever the females are ready, and they have to make sure that trespassing males do not mate with the females first. The males within the pride rarely fight over female females because they need each other to help defend the pride against intruders. Males settle settle the problem by claiming females as they become re- receptive and guarding them through the mating period. Male guards. Each male can only guard. One female at a time. Another male may mate with the female the next time she comes into estrus. As a result, all the prime males usually end up as joint fathers of all the cubs born that se- that season. Some lion cubs are fathered by fathered by strangers. Who sneak in and mate with females while the prime males are busy elsewhere. If the outsider lions manage this without being spotted by the prime males, their cubs are raised as part of the pride. Blood brothers, lionesses in the pride often come into breeding condition at the same time. That means a lot of cubs are born at once. Male lions are more likely to succeed in life if they have brothers and cousins of the same age. They can leave the pride together in a big group and produce produce their own cubs. Lion cubs. A lioness carries her babies inside her for fourteen to fifteen weeks. She gives birth to two, two or three cubs, which weigh between two and four pounds. The mother goes to a quiet place to have her cubs and hides them carefully before joining the other lionesses to hunt. She returns to feed the cubs on her milk. The cubs are born blind and helpless. Their eyes open when they are between three and eleven year days old. The cubs start to walk after about two weeks. They stay hidden though, and they always slip out of sight at the slightest alarm. It may be another month or more before they are ready to to join the rest of the pride. The lion, the lionesses, and the pride help look after each other's cubs and even feed them on their milk. Gradually, the young lions learn to take solid food. By the age of three months, they are playing at stalking their own prey. Dangerous days. Playing is not the real thing, though. When they join the pride on a serious hunt, the youngsters often scare off the prey by treating the whole thing as a game. The cubs start to take part in hunts when they are about eleven months months old. After about eighteen months, the young lions are ready to look out for themselves. Spotty cubs. Adult lions are tawny yellow. But when they are born, the cubs are covered with dark spots. These markings help protect themselves, protect them by enemies by acting from enemies from acting as camouflage in the dappled shade of their hiding places. The spots start to fade at the age of three months, and then usually disappear altogether. Fighting males. Young male lions are forced to leave the pride by the adult males when they are two years old. If they are lucky, three or four leave together. 
when lone male lions have struggled to survive and often team up with other males. The bigger the gang, the better their chances. The male lions wander for two or three years, often following herds or antelope, antelope and zebra. They are big, strong, and fit at the age of five. If they run into a prey defended by older, weaker males, they will attack it. Winner takes all. The fights can be savage, and losers are sometimes killed. The young males may be beaten back, but if they win, they drive out of out the prey males, who then become wanderers themselves. The victors take over their territory, the prey lionesses and their cubs. Murdering males. For a male lion, the most important thing in life is fathering cubs. If a new male takes over a prey, he wants the lioness to raise his cubs, not the cubs fathered by the males he has just defeated. So he kills the cubs. Sometimes the lionesses defend their cubs by joining forces and attacking the murdering males. This is very dangerous, though, and usually the lionesses have to put up with the situation. Keeping control. A strong band of male lions may keep control of a prey for four years or more, but a group of two or, or three is lucky to last two years. This. This is just long enough to raise one generation of cubs. If the males are driven out any earlier, they could lose all their cubs to the next gang of males. All the effort of breeding will have been wasted. For both the males and females, it pays to be part of a strong pride. Lionesses. Lion society is centered on the females. The pride is really a family group of related lionesses, grandmothers, mothers, and daughters. The pride lives together for many generations. A young lioness has a much safer life than her brothers. The she normally stays in the pride with her mother, sis. Mother, sisters, and female cousins. Since all the cubs are brought up together, there's no real pecking order. Although some individuals are first in line at kills, the lions in pride look after each other. A young lioness learns to do the same. When she gets old enough, she joins the other lionesses on hunting trips. It can be risky work, especially if they are hunting big animals like zebra. Long-lived lionesses. It is a lot less dangerous than fighting other lions, though. This is one reason why they are there are always more adult females than males. Female lions live longer than males. They can live to be eighteen years old. Males usually live to twelve years if they have not been killed in a fight before then. A lioness be begins breeding at the age of four. By this time, her father has usually been been driven from the prey by male takeover, and one of the new prey males becomes the father of. Her cubs. A female lion can give birth to a new litter every eighteen to twenty-six months. She may have five litters before she is too old for breed. To breed. The roan out. If a prey grows too big for its territory, some of the young lionesses may have to leave. They wander like young males, and like them. They stand a better chance of surviving if they travel in company. Many die young, but others are accepted into other prides.
built to kill. A lion is a powerful powerhouse killer. It has both the power and the weapons to hunt large prey. Even hunting alone, it can kill animals four times its own weight. For one thing, a lion weighs a lot. A male can weigh anything up to five hundred thirty pounds. Even a sleek lion is usually weighs more than three hundred pounds. When a lion leaps on its target. The collision can send the victim sprawling. The only disadvantage is that a lion's weight slows it down when it runs. The lion's the lion uses its teeth to finish off its prey. Like other hunters, it is a it is armed with long pointed cannon teeth, but its jaws are shorter than most. Its strong muscles can squeeze the teeth together with immense force. When it has made its its kill, the the lion can start slicing up the body with its blade-like cheek teeth. They're just right for shearing through skin and flesh like scissors. When most of the meat is gone, the lion uses its rough tongue to scrape the bones clean. Eyes and ears. A hunting lion relies on its eyes and ears. It can even see well by starlight. Sound is sound is less important important than sight. The lion can usually see its prey, so it does not need to locate it by sound. It still uses its ears a lot, though, especially at night. Paws and claws. A lion keeps its claws tucked into protective sheets. This means its claws stay needle sharp. They make fearful weapons, able to inflict terrible wounds on prey and on other lions. What's in a mane? Most male and female cats look similar, but with the lunch, the lunch, the difference is obvious. An adult male lion is a hairy giant with a magnificent flowing mane. There are many differences too. A male may weigh up to half as much again as a female. In some ways. The male's extra weight is a problem. He is less agile than a lioness and cannot run as fast. His big mane may look impressive, but it makes him easier to spot when he is creeping up on prey. So he is not as good at so at catching prey. Prime males usually leave the the hunting to the lionesses. Why are males so big? A small male would stand no chance against rivals trying to take over the pride. The biggest, strongest males always win. Since the winners father all the cubs, the next generation of males is usually big and strong too. A lion's mane. The mane male's mane starts to grow when a lion is about two years old. It looks magnificent, and it is meant to. Males spend a lot of time trying to scare rival males off their territory, preferably without a fr- without a fight. So the bigger and me- meaner they look, the better. Big cat relatives. The lion is a type of mammal called a carnivore. This group of animals includes the cats, dogs, weasels, bears, raccoons, civets, and hyenas. Almost all of these animals eat meat, and many are fierce hunters. Some eat other things as well, and a few, such as the giant panda, are almost totally vegetarian. One feature that most of them share is scissor-like cheek teeth, called carnassials. Most carnivores use these teeth to slice through meat.
cats, which eat almost nothing but meat, have the biggest and sharpest carnations. Dogs and bears. Dogs and bears have chewing teeth behind the car- carnations, but cats do not have chewing teeth. A cat has a shorter muzzle than a dog or a, bo- or a bear, and a more powerful killing bite. Tigers. Only one cat is more powerful than a male lion, the tiger. A male Siberian tiger can weigh up weigh up to seven hundred fifty pounds. It is a f- formidable killer and can bring down big prey without the help of a pride. That is partly because it lives in forests where there is plenty plenty of cover to hide in. A hunting tiger can creep up close to its victim and pounce before it has a chance to escape. The tiger then gets to eat the whole of the kill itself. Meet the family. There are big cats and small cats. They all are built much the same, but they hunt in different ways. Cheetahs, for example, chase their prey very fast. Margays in South America hunt up in trees. Most of the other cats are steel killers that ambush their victims. Lions are the only cats that hunt in groups. Where lions live, African lions are open country cats. They hunt grazing animals, and to do so, they must follow the the herds of antelope and zebras across the grasslands. The open landscape makes life difficult for hunters that stalk their prey because there are few places to hide. Lions get around this problem by hunting in groups. This allows them to survive in some of the most open landscapes in Africa. These include the parched, parched savannas of the Serengeti in the east, in the east, and the Kalahari Desert in the south. On these dry, grassy plains, lions often have to wander across huge areas to find enough prey. Prey hunting is easier where there is some cover. Ideal lion country is lush grassland with plenty of scrub and and some shady trees. Asiatic lions in India, the only wild lions surviving outside Africa today, live in the tree forests of northwest India. There are only about four hundred of them living in a wildlife sanctuary that covers. Five hundred forty square miles of grassland and forest. Since they can ambush prey from forest cover, like tigers do, group hunting tactics are, are not so important. Prides are smaller than those of the the African lion, with two males and three or four females. They are now. Protected by law, shrinking horses. Lions were once widespread through much of Africa, Africa, South, Southern Asia, and Southern Europe. They roamed the deserts of West Asia only one hundred years ago. Today, there are few lions in India, and there and they are even disappearing from Africa. Over the last one hundred years, about half of Africa's lions have been hunted and killed. Many of the ones that are left cannot find enough to eat. Circuses, circuses, and safaris. These grisly events took place in arenas. The Romans called circuses. As time went on, circuses became less violent, but lions were still a big attraction. Lion tamers 
train lines to perform tricks. And between shows, the the animals lived in cramped cages. Meanwhile, other lines were display, displayed in zoos, also in small cages. Even if they were well cared for, and many were not, it was nothing like their life in the wild. Zoos and national parks today, most lines in zoos are kept in large enclosures where they have grass, trees, and and space. In in some North American zoos, lions are bred in captivity in case in case they die out in the wild. Many wild lions live in African wildlife reserves and national parks. There, they are protected from hunters who might want to kill them for sport. Reserves include the the. Serengeti National Park in Tanzania and the Kalahari Gemsbok National Park in South Africa. These parks cover vast areas of grassland and forests, allowing their resident lions to live wild and free. Main eaters. Well, lions often attack farm animals, especially where they. Their normal prey is scarce. However, many eating lions are rare. This seems strange because people are easy targets. People are slow, e- easy to stalk, and no trouble to kill. The f- the few lions that regularly kill people are usually too old and feeble to kill anything else. And this is the glossary.